exactly. And so we wanted to make sure that people remembered or at least knew that he was this really exceptionally talented musician and not just the guy that helped stop the bombing. You know, that was a part of his legacy as well. And so the Ohana really appreciated that, I think, and why we got more and more green lights to kind of keep going. And yeah, the main thing was to honor him. And so we barely, if at, at all, really talk about the ending necessarily because mm-hmm. we wanted mm-hmm. to like uplift mm-hmm. his life. And we only had 20 minutes to tell, you know, yeah. his whole entire life. And so it's really glimpses and moments and try to use, uh, again, the form of film to be able to stretch time and see all of these key moments right. in his life mm-hmm. that were based in the truth. You know, maybe a little fictionalized. Like, I don't know if he actually seen one plane fly over his head and watched the mm-hmm. bombing, but like he says that he felt and seen it every yeah. day, mm-hmm. you know. And so to, to dramatize it in that way, but also make sure that it was anchored in the truth so that kids aren't like thinking that we're just making up any kind. Right. Whatever they watch, they're going to take as the truth. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. 